Well, hello. Hi, Susan. How are you? Carol, hi. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, it's so, good. so good to see you, too. Um, Carol Dockham here with BeautifulFacesGoingPlaces.com, and we are super excited to have our special guest today, our success team member, Susan hastings Giebler. And um, just a little bit about Susan. She is a small town girl from Rising Sun, Indiana and the founder and CEO of Make a Move Maverick. She is dedicated to all the Mavericks who have a desire to make a move to create the life, the business, relationships and health they truly want. It is Susan's ultimate passion and desire to assist you in realizing and reaching your dreams by accomplishing each of your goals one move at a time. What I love about Susan is her, her backstory, her history. She actually made a move in 1992 and continues to make a move daily from the seemingly security of corporate America in the pharmaceutical industry Susan launched a candle company and became America's candle lady with a $299 investment within just over two years. She transformed her small business into a multi-million dollar organization and she became the top within the top 10 sales in North America. And she ha actually held this position for over 21 years. That is pretty amazing. Um, and she is a recent published author. And here is a copy of her book. I don't know if you can see this, but um, it is Transform Mastermind, the CEO's Playbook 101. It's the number one playbook to transform your business into an empire and an entrepreneur into a CEO. So congratulations to you, Susan. Thank you. My goodness, I feel like Miss America. <laughs> well, I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Carol. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here on Beautiful Faces Going Places. I'm so excited to be a part of a kind of like the pioneers here yeah. getting this launched and, and to, um, to be a part of it is very exciting. Well, um, you're, you're absolutely right. We are the pioneers launching Beautiful Faces Going Places. Yes, it's so cool. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, uh, when you say that about a $299 investment, and to be honest with you, I even questioned it. Okay, so yeah. those of you out there that are presented an opportunity, sometimes you're going to question it. And some of you are going to question it longer than others. For me, I did question it. My husband then questioned it, $299. Yet look what it did. You know, it, it did transform into a multi-million dollar company. That and so, is really amazing. Yeah. And, and I will tell you, it's not so much about, oh, me, I was so great. It was truly about what I talk about in the book. And that is uh, the people. It was the people that made it great. I just really met great people. So right. everybody that's out there networking and, um, you know, some of you are grinding it out. I know, uh, week by week, month by month. And the thing I want to tell you is don't ever underestimate being kind and encouraging and asking people more about what they're doing than telling them about what you're doing, because those are the people that will remember you. Everybody's going in there to tell their story. But if you go in there wanting to learn about other people and support them and encourage them, it's only going to get you further right. you're launching your business or your idea or um, your company or whatever. So well, I yes. love that message. You're absolutely right. It, it is about um, the other person and not not necessarily yourself. So absolutely. I mean, who does who do, who does do people want to talk about? They want to talk about themselves. Right. And so we know that if we know that, then let them. Right. 
because there'll be a chance and an opportunity for you to talk about yourself. Right, exactly. So if you all are wondering why we are wearing these beautiful, very <laughs> colorful lays, um, I know yeah. our sister is just going to Hawaii, but um, Susan yeah. is on our success team here at Beautiful Faces Going Places, and she is an expert in her field. She is a uh, health and wealth coach. So she is going to be sharing today, uh, turning others on and how to motivate and gain agreement with your team and your customers and your organization. So, and, and potentially family members. So, right. That's Which exciting. is the most important team you have. Right. <laughs> is your family members. So yeah, let's get right to it. So um, for me, 20, I've been in network marketing for 30 plus years. I think it's an amazing way to make a living. Um, I was with one, the candle company for 23 years, 21 of those years. Like you said, I was in the top 10 region for sales, sponsoring and income. Wow. Uh, and a lot of that had to do with the people. So th these kind of, this concept is probably not going to be like uh, new to some of you. Some of you have probably been through some kind of training like this. Um, you want to always be a student. I always consider myself a student. And mm -hmm. so, um, but what I found was this was a nugget, you know, those nuggets that you yeah. get that really help you to just kind of be able to um, make that leap instead mm -hmm. of go from A to B, you go to A to Z, perhaps. Right. If you understand what turns people on, and we're not talking about sexually, we're talking about <laughs> what turns them on emotionally, spiritually, physically, um, mm -hmm. financially. So, okay, let's get right to it. So for example, mm -hmm. we're gonna use colors to try to um, explain this. So we're gonna start off with the reds, okay? Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have a, a red lay on. The reds, we call them the red hot reds. The red hot reds are goal oriented. They are the type of people that if they're, looking at your program or they're in your organization, it's let me set a goal and then get out of my way. I'll figure it out myself. I don't need you to hold my hand. I just want to, but I do want you to recognize me. Okay. I do want to see my name in the lights. I want right. to see my name in the newsletter. I want to see my name in print and you better spell it right. <laughs> And you better get the statistics. I E B L E R. I got that one. <laughs> okay, that's the red. Yeah. Um, what turns a red off? A red turn to turn a red off is um, well, if you have a meeting that goes over, if a meeting doesn't start on time, those kind of things really kind of turn a red off. And if you want to recognize a red, just how they dress, I'm going to try to teach you how to recognize each personality just based on how they're dressed. And I mean, it's not scientific. There's some exceptions, but mostly reds, they're going to show up head to toe, full on name brand. Everything is going to be coordinated. Okay. From the hat, if you're a man to the briefcase, if you're a female, it's going to be from the scarf, the jewelry to the handbag and the shoes. Okay. That is a red. All right. So let's go on to the next one. And that would be our mellow yellows. Okay. Our mellow yellows, mellow yellows. These are our peacemakers. These are the ones that, oh my gosh, you just want them on your team because they're the ones that are going to make everybody chill, mm -hmm. feel good about themselves. When the reds are upset, the yellows can calm them <laughs> down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mellow yeah. yellow. Mellow <laughs> yellows. They are the peacemakers. They're the ones that if if there is something that will benefit people and help people, they're on board. Don't talk to them about money. Don't talk to them about how much money you can make, how many goals you can set. They want to know how many people can I help. Mel and, and mellow yellows are going to show up in casual clothing. Um you know, probably like sporty, maybe yoga pants. They're the ones that you're going to struggle with trying to get them to go by the dress code. Okay. You know those people? Yes, I do. <laughs> when you say, we're going to have a meeting and here's the dress code. They're going to bend the rules. Mm -hmm. That's the mellow yellows. Okay. So let's go on to the, ooh, the fun 
people, the blue wahoos. <laughs> That's what we call them, the blue wahoos, I because the blues are, if it's fun, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. And in fact, sometimes they walk into the room and they definitely light up the room, but sometimes they even say, woohoo, they just can't help <laughs> themselves. You know, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> they're the ones that if it's fun, I'm all in and yeah. you're going to recognize them. They're the ones that you don't really want to talk so much about how much money you can make. You want to talk about how many trips you can earn. Okay. How much fun you're going to have doing this. How many friends you're going to make. That is the blue wahoos. And they're going to show up in colorful dress. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a variety of colors on bright colors. Typically um, if it's a female, they're probably going to have big earrings on and animal print most likely. Okay, those are your blue wahoos. All right. Love it. Blue wahoos are, you know, they're turned off again, like kind of like structure. They don't like structure. They want to know with a meeting, you better have some fun built in, <laughs> like some kind of a icebreaker fun or whatever, drawings, prizes. Yeah. Uh, last color. And again, y'all, you, know, you want to know that you're not just locked into one color. We are a variety of colors because, mm -hmm. you know, let's face it. God made us so many, so different, yeah. but we also have so many facets to mm -hmm. our personalities. So you will probably see a primary color and a secondary color for yourself. Okay. As you're reading through this, mm -hmm. and then you also may need to work on your other colors. So like, for example, if you are seeing that you are a red, hot red, maybe you might need to get your yellow on once in a while and be understanding and sympathetic to people that are having issues because typically red, hot reds can be like, well, you know, you said you wanted to get involved because you're, you know, of your child or your husband left you or whatever. Um, and now you're saying that because of that, you can't, well, a, a yellow would be a little more sympathetic and a little more understanding. So you got to get that hat on once in a while or that color on. Right. Okay. Last color. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Last color is the green machines. <laughs> okay. The green machines, the green machines. If you don't have a green machine in your company, your organization, uh, your corporation, mm -hmm. you're probably going to go broke. <laughs> they are the bean counters. They are the ones who see the numbers. They just have a knack for it. Um, they are the analyticals. They're reading the charts, reading the data, uh, reading the graphs. They are your green machines. Brilliant, brilliant people. Doesn't mean they're more brilliant than a blue or a yellow. They're just brilliant with numbers and that right. graphs and that type of thing. Right. So your greens are probably going to show up and they're going to look very conservative okay conservative dress conservative uh, uh shoes whatever they're gonna they're gonna be conservative and if you are appealing to someone that you know is a green and they want to know they're looking at your company like for example carol you know you're an expert in skincare mm -hmm. so a green is going to want to know your ingredients. They're going to want to know the research, the data behind Rodan and Fields. That's right. what a green is wanna, going to want to do. A red, they're going to want to know, how good is it going to make me look? <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much the four colors in a nutshell. And in my book, you know, we, we go through some questions where you can kind of you know, answer the questions and figure out where you are. But basically, you know, you've heard a little bit, a little snippet here. So you can probably kind of identify either one or two colors that are your primary or secondary. Right. I love it. Um, I mean, seriously, I think um, we're all in uh, business and of some format um, here at Beautiful Faces Going Places. And um, I think what's really, really cool is that if you can identify whether it's your, your potential customers or your clients or your team members, um, what color they are or what category they fall in, then you understand what is of importance to them, what yeah. is of value to them, and then you can speak their language. Speak their um, language is a perfect way to describe that. Yeah, I because I think of myself, I, I'm a red and I'm 
a Wahoo blue. I mean, if you tell me it's going to be fun and you'll, you will oftentimes hear me say the word fun, you know, like, Hey, we're going to have fun here. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> because I like to have fun, <laughs> but I'm also, I also like to be, um, I I'm also this red hot red where, you know, let's put the program together. <laughs> yeah. You're very driven. <laughs> for sure. You couldn't do beautiful faces going places if you didn't have some red in you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I, I mean, this is really, really cool. And what a, a very fun way <laughs> to <laughs> demonstrate this strategy. Um, I really, truly think that it um, can be so extremely helpful and beneficial um, once you understand this, the color, this color language. So, yeah. and again, it's not, um, like maybe some of you are like, well, yeah, I've done those color analysis or I've done those um, Briggs, whatever analysis. Right. And that's fine. It's, it's just a matter of applying it. And I will tell you, that's what I applied to my business uh, because I recognized, you know, soon after I started that, what is it about some people I click with and what is it about some people that click with me? Why is it yeah. some people are annoyed with me? Because they were, I mean, there were people that were as much as I think I'm easy to get along with, they were annoyed with me. And typically they were people who wanted more data, mm -hmm. less hype, more research, more graphs, mm -hmm. more statistics. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of not taking those things personally. Right. We can, we can take them personally and go, oh, you know, I don't get along <laughs> with that person. No, you just need to understand what motivates them, what turns them on. Yeah. And then you apply that strategy. It doesn't mean, you know, you have to, most of us that are in um, business for ourselves, we don't have to go to a, a, a company where we sit in a cube and we have to see them in the lunchroom, the break room, the water cooler. Yeah. We only see them maybe on Facebook or when we want to. So it's really easy to get along with people these days when you're in business for yourself. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> One of the beauties. <laughs> One of the definite beauties, yeah. Yes. So Susan, um, if someone is interested in learning more about your strategies or and or uh, ordering your book so that they can actually read um, your success story and, and learn more about this strategy, where's the best place for them to find you? Yeah, you can go on Facebook you? right now. And so I feel like that's one of the best places to connect. So just yeah. private message me. It's under Susan Hastings Giebler. You'll see me because I'll probably pop right up because I'm on Facebook a lot. That's where I do primarily all my business. And um, I also said that something fun I'd like to offer tonight is anyone who messages on Beautiful Faces Going Places, their color first. So you've like listened and you've identified your color. I'm going to send you a free copy of the book. Okay. The CEO's playbook 1.0. All you got to do is message me your address and I'll send it to you. And then on May 20th, uh, Carol invited me back to be able to kind of share how to take this concept and use it with your team. So maybe some of you have team meetings either by zoom, like we're doing here or live meetings, maybe. Mm -hmm. And so I can assist with that as well. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Susan. You are just a serious rock star. I can't thank you enough for sharing your knowledge and expertise with us. And uh, let's have some fun applying this on how to turn others on. Let's have some so, fun and help some people. <laughs> yes, let's <laughs> help some people. <laughs> All right, Carol, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, this was awesome. All right, thank you oh, so much. One last thing. If oh, anybody yeah. wants to be a member of Beautiful Faces Going Places, what do they do? It's really easy. All you have to do is go to our dot com site, beautifulfacesgoingplaces.com, and um, you select whether you want to be a success team member, if you're an expert in your field like Susan is and you wanna teach classes online through our platform, we'd love to have you. And, or uh, join us as a business member and be found in our business directory. So um, very, very easy. So awesome. All right, Carol. All right, have, have a good night. Bye everybody. Bye, thank you.